In an unexpected turn of events, Manipur's Legislative Assembly conveyed its first session since the eruption of violence on May 3rd. Hello everyone, my name is Zainab Zulkutti and welcome to HW News English. The brief 11-minute session was marked by intense exchanges, protests and the passage of an extraordinary resolution advocating peace through dialogue and constitutional methods. The urgency of this assembly session was driven by a constitutional mandate that stipulates a maximum six-month gap between legislative sessions. Hastily summoned on August 29, this one-day session aimed to meet the impending September 2nd deadline. However, the absence of 10 Kuki Zomi MLAs citing security concerns along with the presence of Naga MLAs pointed to the deep-seated divisions within the assembly. The session took an unexpected turn as it concluded with the abrupt passage of a resolution promoting peace through dialogues and constitutional means. The lack of prior discussion and its sudden adoption raised significant questions. Manipur Congress Chief and MLA K. Megha Chandra Singh expressed reservations about the resolution's legitimacy, highlighting that it hadn't been introduced or debated by the Speaker during the session. The resolution emphasized that the Assembly's dedication to resolving internal differences for the purpose of restoring complete peace across the state. The day's agenda was passed, consisting primarily of an obituary reference and the presentation of a business advisory committee report. This limited agenda set the stage for a session that would prove chaotic. As the session commenced, Okram Ibobi Singh, the Congress Legislature Party leader and former Chief Minister, led a protest against what he saw as a mockery of the proceedings. He questioned the legality of the one-day session, arguing that it deviated from established protocols due to a lack of proper notice from the governor. Singh's impassioned pleas against the disregard for democratic norms resonated with fellow Congress MLAs, who united in slogans and displayed placards stressing the importance of safeguarding democracy and the constitution. Amidst the mounting chaos, Chief Minister Birin Singh carried forward with an obituary reference and two-minute silence. He defended the government's decision not to address the ongoing violence, referencing rules that prohibit discussions on subjudice matter within the Assembly. Singh's effort to steer the session amid opposition resistance led to a brief mention of the Chandrayaan-3 moon mission and expressions of gratitude. The Assembly session descended further into chaos as Congress MLAs sustained their protests. Against this backdrop, the Speaker adjourned the House for a 30-minute recess after only 9 minutes of business. Upon resumption, protests resumed and the Speaker abruptly adjourned the session, signed die, bringing the proceedings to a halt. Post-session, Minister Govindas Konthujam criticized the conduct of Congress MLAs, branding it as unruly and unconstitutional. He held the opposition accountable for the missed opportunity to discuss the state's crisis, accusing them of prolonging the turmoil. Konthujam even alleged that Congress's motive might include advocating for President's rule in Manipur, echoing sentiments expressed by Rahul Gandhi. In conclusion, Manipur's swift assembly session, marked by protests and controversial resolutions, painted a vivid picture of political discord and disarray. While the need to fulfill constitutional obligations was evident, the lack of substantial debate and the hasty approval of the peace resolution left observers questioning the transparency and effectiveness of the legislative process. The absence of Kukizomi MLAs and the fervent protests highlighted the entrenched tensions that continue to grip Manipur's political landscape. That's all for now. For more such news updates, follow HW News English. Thank you.